This right here is a game changer for RVers, especially full-time RVers that have weight restriction, thing, things like that. This little package here is less than seven pounds and look how small it is. So are you tired of having smoke get in your eyes when you're trying to have a campfire? Maybe the smoke causes issues with your asthma like me. Or maybe the fire pit's just in the wrong place. And what about the cost of wood? Every time you want to burn a few sticks, it gets expensive. So I found this in Quartzsite, Arizona at the Big RV Tent Show. And uh, Jake from Tripod Torch was showing this to me and I interviewed him at the show in my past video. If you, uh, you know, check out right here, you can see that interview from him. Uh, but this is a propane fire kit, all right here, less than seven pounds. And it is just so compact. And it comes with this steel braided hose right here. And when you get it, it's just in a plastic container and you take the hose out and you can attach it to here. I just leave it attached to here all the time because it just easily fits in the bag and back out of the bag anytime I actually want to use it. And I'll tell you, it has been a game changer for us. The size alone being just that small makes it so it can fit in a van very easily or fit in your motorhome pretty much any little spot that you want and it just uh, doesn't take up any room so that's pretty cool besides having the hose and the regulator and this little uh, burner piece in the bag it comes with instructions tells you how to set it up um, I just use that for cleaning off the soot my little starter see I can have a lot of different things in this bag um, it has some little plates here I'm going to show you what those are used for in a minute and then it has the legs now the nice thing about this is it's a tripod and these legs just pop right out of here but it's easy enough to put those on to rebuild the tripod and they just go in here like this then you just grab it all together like that turn it over and this little locking plate falls down in place and at that point you just take these tripod legs and you just fold them out. And now you have your campfire torch is all ready to go. Just that easy. And then this regulator here can hook up to any uh, propane bottle with the right adapter. So these small bottles, um, I have an adapter that hooks to my rig so I can just plug it right into my tank on my rig. Um, I also have an adapter that plugs into this and I can hook it right to one of those little green one gallon uh, propane bottles. So you can pretty much hook it to anything that you want and it ends up being your fire. So with the tank connected and you turn on your gas right here, you have this little regulator that regulates how much propane is going to be sent out these little holes that's on this vertical pipe here. This torch is made from stainless steel. So everything on this is stainless steel. The braided hose is stainless steel. Uh, there's a rubber hose inside of there, but the stainless steel sheathing here protects that hose. So that's really nice. It also comes with three uh, stakes, so you can stake it down into the ground to hold it there. I have never used the stakes because it's pretty darn stable just the way it's sitting right here. Uh, the other thing is, is that it comes with these um, little plates right here because you know when the wind's really blowing then the flame will tend to blow to one side you know all the heat kind of goes <laughs> instead of getting on you for example or you got to sit over there to get in the heat the nice thing about this is that you can set these so wherever the wind is blowing towards if it's blowing this way I can put one right here and it blocks the wind from the torch and then the torch will be um, will react normally at that point I can also take these and stack them in here so I can take two of these if the wind's coming this way and kind of direct the heat to a specific spot. Or I can use three of these and now I can put a pot on top of this. So you can use it as a 
cooker or as a heater. This unit here is less than seven pounds compared to those other big uh, fire pits that you can get. Uh, they weigh roughly at least 20 to 25 pounds for those and take up a lot of space because they're like 24 inches wide or circled. And you gotta figure out where to put those. This folds up into this little bag and you can pretty much put it anywhere you want. The other thing is, is that this takes very little propane to run. And so one of these small tanks like this can last up to uh, 12 hours. I mean, I've been so surprised at uh, utilizing the old fire pit I had and just going out for an evening and then picking up the canister to carry it away and it'd be like half empty. This this is uh, still feels full after, you know, just one little use of it. Now, when you get this, it's nice and shiny, just like this uh, one plate here that I have not used yet, but you can see that it's dark here. And what this is, is the carbon that builds up from the propane flame. And so that's why I have this little rag right here, because I can take this and after I'm done using it and it cools down, which takes about 15 minutes, depending on the weather, um, cools down, you just take this, wipe it off, just like that, and then it's ready to pack up and you can tear it apart to uh, put it back in its bag. So very, very easy cleanup, not a lot to it at all. It's very easy to um, use the system. Uh, you just put the regulator in there and set it where you want it to be. And then at the time you're gonna start it, just turn it on so you can just barely hear it. And then at that point, you just light it. And uh, there's your flame. And it's really hot. And it doesn't take a lot to uh, build up this heat. They call it heat to your seat because all the heat is being pushed out this way instead of going up like most fire pits that are built around. All the heat's just right there and most of it's going up. It doesn't really come out very much because the flame is so close to the bottom of the uh, fire pit. And on this one here, as you turn this up, you know, you can turn it up to whatever size you want. And that's, um, so about that size right there, which is pretty darn hot, um, it'll last, you know, 10, 12 hours. You'll notice that it has this little carbon buildup on there now. And so I just take my rag, like I said, and I just wipe it off. So wait for it to cool down. And then once it's cooled down, then you just take this and you just wipe it off. And then after you wipe that off, all you do is you just fold that back up again, turn it upside down, that little locking plate comes off, and you can just go ahead and pull these out. Just like that. And the cool thing is that these, each one of these legs has a wrench built in right here that fits right on this, this nut right here. So when you first get this hose and it's not on there, it's very easy just to thread that on and use this to tighten it. So they've thought of everything. Pretty cool. Now these units come with a regulator that hooks to a tank. Now, if you happen to be somebody that doesn't uh, require a regulator because it's built into your system already, um, a friend of mine has a van and his already had a regulator built into it. So the nice thing is, is this fitting right here is just a standard fitting. Anybody can make a hose for you. And he just went out and to the local propane dealer and they made this hose for him and he just hooks it up to his van and it's perfect for a van because it's only that small size you can just put it anywhere and in this case he's not even carrying around a propane bottle and so also if you look at this video you'll see how i put an adapter on my propane tank on my motorhome and i have a hose that plugs right into this and so i don't need this tank either now i typically want to put my fire further away from my unit than what my hose will reach and I thought about getting a longer hose, but this tank, just carrying this anywhere, and it lasts for so long that it's like a no-brainer. Okay, just carry it around. And with that adapter I put on my motorhome, I can also use this to provide uh, propane for my motorhome. So it's a two-purpose thing. And that's kind of our, our thing, is we like to have things that are dual purpose, just like this is dual purpose. It can be a heater, campfire sitting around, uh, you can sit there and roast marshmallows, all that kind of fun stuff. Or by using these plates, you can use it to actually cook on. So dual purpose, everything happens to have a dual purpose. And when you're full time, space, weight, and accommodations is a, is a major concern. Here's a few videos that I've taken while we've been using the tripod torch. We have a lot of fun with it. It's a great um, 
way to have a campfire with uh, friends over and things and not have to worry about wood and things like that especially if it's some place that you need to just shut it off and walk away and I just pick it up with the legs attached and everything and the tank and I just pick it up and we just carry it out to the car at that point I can disassemble it roll up this hose my wife usually just holds this while we sit in the car we drive back to our um, motor home and then once it actually cools down then we'll go ahead and wipe it off and put it away but it's easy enough just to pick up and walk away compared to those other fire pits that are so big and bulky this one is really nice so we've really enjoyed this so hopefully this is something that maybe you could use uh, we do have a discount code so you can save twenty dollars by using the link in the description below or you can um, use Tigner Adventures as a discount code and it'll give you $20 off. It is free shipping, so they've got everything covered for you there. You can also find the link on our website, tignoradventures.com. If you go there and go under our recommendations, we do have a picture there, and we do have uh, the discount code right there where you can just click on it to uh, go out and check that out. Check out their website and uh, see what you think. Um, if it's something for you, then you can at least save 20 bucks by um, you know using our code, so that'll help you out there. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll just plan on seeing you on our next video. And uh, if not, then we'll see you down the road. So take care.